My name is JT, and this is a story how I built my camper van. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of JT Time. JT here. We are back at the van today, and uh, we are going to be doing insulation for the van. Uh, as you can see, I have done some additional demo work on the van, so all the seats are gone pretty much. Uh, a lot of the uh, top has completely been ripped out as well. Um, so I'm going to be breaking down what I'm going to do to do the insulation and uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy it. So the first thing you need to do is um, you need to get these little grinding wheels. So definitely save you some time and effort and you'll need a drill as well. Um, and you'll need some gloves and a respirator. So all I'm really going to do is I'm just going to go and grind all these areas of rust away and then we'll take a shot back and vacuum it all for uh, vacuum it all away all right so let's see uh, what that looks like <laughs> The next step after you've uh, got rid of all the rust and painted everything um, is you pretty much stick your insulation on your floor. Um, this is what I'm going to use, um, Noico Solutions. This is actually a, uh, a sound insulation material. It's, it's um, closed cell foam and uh, it does kind of two jobs for me. The first is it dampens the sound, which is uh, really, really crazy. The first time I drove this van, it was really, really loud. So I, I know sound's gonna be an issue for us. And I wanted something to dampen the sounds that wasn't uh, your typical like butyl or some kind of like peel and stick um, that's a tarry like material. So this was uh, the solution that I came up with. Um, it, dampens the sound but it also insulates for me as well so I'm gonna lay this down on the floor and then I'll put my subfloor on top of that this will seal up any holes or penetrations and it'll give me insulation which will be really really nice so let me go ahead and uh, show you guys how I do that So one thing that I do recommend is having a roller of some kind. I have this little wood glue roller for pretty much gluing boards together. So I'm going to go and pretty much roll all of this so that it's all pretty much solidly connected um, to the base. And uh, I think I'll be done. Alright guys, so we're here at the end of the episode. Um, I finished insulating the bottom of the van and that was pretty much my goal for this uh, portion of the van. I, I wanted to insulate the bottom so that I could start putting down the flooring. Uh, that way I can start installing the seats again and getting it kind of ready so we can actually take the van out uh, to enjoy it a little bit while we're building it out. This is what it looks like. So you, I, I went up a few inches on this side because my subfloor or my floor is going to be uh, covering up that little section. So I wanted to insulate that too, but pretty much you, you want to cover every single crevice pretty much. So, and then the parts of the floor that <laughs> kind of need exposing is pretty much here if you're going to be putting back down the little um, step that goes here, the little plastic step that goes here. I want to put that back down, so I wanted those exposed. You, of course, want to keep your uh, mounts exposed as well for your seats. And then same thing over here. Make sure you work around all the um, things that you need to keep exposed, essentially. And you end up with a bunch of mess at the end of the day. So hope you guys enjoy the episode. Hope you learned something. And uh, see you real soon. Here on JT Time.